Hey everybody, happy Sunday. So, it's been kind of a busy morning around here. We got up and spent some time with Scott and he got packed up and hit the road and um, I am just kind of hanging out. I did my hair today, kind of on my own. And um, I really like this piece, like I said, tucked behind my ear. Sorry, I got that footage messed around. Um, there's a clip from Thursday and then a clip from Wednesday. Sorry. But I have a lot to do um, still. I have still have a lot of packing to do. But today I'm just going to kind of focus on cleaning up, getting laundry caught up. There's not a lot, but still getting laundry caught up. Um, getting the house overall, you know, like really picked up, you know, like that little butcher's rack right there gets like stacked up with stuff and just kind of pick up and, um, get prepared for the week. So nothing seems like really, um, there's a hair in my eye, um, overwhelming and, um, I have to get up early tomorrow and I want to feel good doing that. I want to feel like, um... You know, good. I don't want to feel tired, so I want to make sure everything's done where I can get in bed at a decent hour, get up before the boys, get some stuff done, just a little bit of stuff, like, you know, maybe whip up some eggs or something for them and um, get them, you know, in the car and out the door um, fast um, because, you know, school and all that. So I'm excited. I think Scott's going to do well. I think he's going to enjoy time with his daughter. I think, um, I think he's going to work hard and find us a house, and um, I'm excited about that. So, um, I'm just going to keep working around here, but today is cleanup day. It is actually kind of like cold here, and um, it's not snowing, but we thought we were going to actually get snow. Sorry about the lighting difference, um, but we're not um, getting snow yet, and so... Um, I'm really happy about that. So, I'm going to get busy. I need to get some stuff done, and I will check on you guys in a bit. Hey, so we have cleaned out both freezers, and we're going to go through stuff, and we're going to figure out what, if anything, that we're eating, what we are getting rid of, what we are giving to the neighbors, and everything is out of the freezer, and we're going to decide once and for all what we are keeping, and it will help with the grocery order. So, I got both boys down here. They're going to help me since they are going to be here. Yeah, well, it just got, like, some rest in it, but that's not that bad. Um, I'm going to unplug that soon. Um, but we're going to figure it out, and we're going to do it right now. Okay, so this freezer is empty, and Zane kind of put this stuff in here for me. So it's not perfect, but it's, it's good enough. So we got a lot of smoothie stuff still that I'll concentrate on making smoothies. A few, like, quick treats, but a lot of our freezer was, was piled up with potatoes. So we got lots of potatoes. Don't think I'll get through all those, but unless I have french fries every night. But we definitely got some vegetables that are frozen. And, um, yeah. I mean, I, I sent some stuff over to the neighbors that I didn't want to go bad. And, um, ever, I mean, I just didn't have a lot of meat in my freezer. And that's why a lot of people, I think, were misunderstanding why I needed to go to the store. Right now, I only have some chicken, really. Um, meat wise in our freezer and that is it um, before I go to the store tomorrow so this is going to stay open and it's going to dethaw out I guess and then I will probably get it to the garage and I think I can clean it or just you know put some stuff in it like the cooler and other stuff like I have another cooler that will probably sit right down in there but I want to clean it really well before before that so we got that job done so another thing that got done today is really mapping out things that I need to do and that I want to get done and I just used this very handy chalkboard wall to make sure you know everything is written out and I really needed to do that. Then over here I just kind of wrote out almost like a weekly schedule. There's still more um, kind of happening. I need to check some stuff off like um, we went through the freezers and, you know, different things that are happening this week, some different YouTube videos that I want to make, and just different things going on each day. Obviously, Jackson's medications are up there, and I'm just kind of using this as like a little control area. Um, we also, me and the boys, sat down and thought about some of the dinners they would like to have. 
so these are very kid like I mean the roasted chicken and veggies is definitely more adult like um, for me but the kids pretty much picked these out and the nice thing is is there's like a lot of fries here's a fry there's a fry um, there's a fry um, and that will maybe help use up some of those potatoes that we have in our freezer so really really happy to have that done to kind of have a road map of how the week is and that will fill in more won't it Cooper um, like on Monday you know Scott's starting his new job I need to go to the grocery store I also need to pick up the prescriptions that are right and return the ones that are messed up and that's these right here and then you know what time I need to pick up tutoring and different things that I need to do on different days so just kind of helping and I got rid of the bar stools they're in the dining room now I did kind of clean up the dining room I need to vacuum but I did kind of clean it up in here like all those boxes right there are kind of pushed we have more boxes over here on the treadmill and the table you know there is some random stuff on the table but it's still like an area that I'm working at like this is basically clear the closets are empty um, I still need to work in that bathroom but I'm just kind of road mapping everything out I cleaned the kitchen really good today and um, we actually um, are gonna get ready and make dinner in a few minutes hello everybody I'm gonna end the vlog here I'm gonna enjoy a shower get my butt in bed so I can get up for school tomorrow so that's what's going on I will talk to you guys in the morning Good morning, friends. It is almost 7 a.m. I am getting out some eggs that I already kind of, I don't know, mixed up. And, um, um, you know, it's really nice just to do this the night before. And it doesn't take that long to do it in the, you know, before, before I go to bed. So... I whipped up the kids some eggs, and I'm going to make that for them this morning. But first, I need coffee. It is 6.52. Yuck. But I slept pretty good last night. Coffee looks strong. Breakfast is done super fast. This is just some leftover ham that we had and some toast and eggs That should do it for today So I'm home from the grocery store. I have everything like laid out that I Shared in a haul that is already live, but I need to kind of clean up the kitchen a little bit It's not terrible, but I need to clean it up. I have my shopping bags out right there that I have to um, like put away and get everything in the refrigerator. So that is what I'm doing. So the fridge ain't even that bad. Yay! Let's move this down. The fridge is in pretty good shape. And um, we, we just have so many condiments, it's insane. And I even thinned them out. Actually, I need to get this out because I am gonna make some Hooters wings tonight. And I bought two because I wasn't for sure, I bought another one because I wasn't for sure um, um, if one would be enough, even though I think it will. So I'm going to leave that stuff out because we're going to make some wings. And let's get some stuff put up. It's still pretty chilly here today. Um, I got a lot of eggs simply because I am, you know, up with the kids. I don't mind, like, preparing stuff like the night before, like I showed you just a little while ago, because I know it was this morning's footage. I don't mind sharing, um, um, you know, that I like to do stuff the night before, but why not, you know? If you can do anything the night before, why not? I think we only have a couple of oranges left. I love those little halos. I can get that two out. Come on. And I'm not cleaning fruit and all that tonight. I will probably clean it. Huh? If I can get it out. I'll clean the grapes and stuff later. Um, I just don't feel like it tonight. You know, a lot of times I do like to pre-clean stuff. And I probably should. 
Why did I, there we go. Um, but I'm just not tonight. A little later, and I'll make sure the kids rinse off. Where's the little hole in? We'll rinse off um, any of them that they have before, but I'll probably rinse them off tonight. Oops. Um, because um, I want to make it like a little fruit salad for breakfast tomorrow. But I am going to leave the plums out. Yes, because I think they're still a little bit hard. Well, I'll leave a few out and put them, well, I'll put them away for right now. And strawberries and blueberries. And definitely my grapefruit. I love grapefruit. I'm going to put that right on up here. It's hard to do this one handed. Yeah, I know a lot of people were thinking that like we just had a ton of meat products and stuff like dinner items in the freezer, but we really didn't. That's why I had to buy meat and I continue. I got quite a bit of pantry stuff, but you know, I mean, I'm sure I'm not doing certain things. Um, um, you know, you always had to rebuy. I'll probably just leave the cantaloupe out because I'm going to use half of that tonight. So I'll put that over here. And let's get the carrots. Perfect. Okay. Let's get the meat items in the freezer. I always like them to go into the freezer because if we eat leftovers or something and, you know, I plan on, um, you know, eating something the next day doesn't always mean that I do. So... I prefer to put all the meat, besides what we're having for dinner, whichever particular night, um, the night that I get home or the night after, um, um, I always like to have it in the freezer. That way there's no chance of it just going bad. I can thaw stuff out overnight or in the microwave and have no issues. Hello everybody, it is after 11. I'm going to make a very quick little fruit salad um, for breakfast tomorrow. And I know many people are like, why didn't you do this when Scott was taking the kids? Because the kids would eat whatever they wanted. Um, and I made some cookies tonight. They're super good. Um, and, um, you know, you know, I can, I can, um, you know, do a little bit. And I'm probably going to have to be taking Brittany to school um, if we don't live in her district. So it's kind of like, you know, like a get your act together kind of thing. Um, what did I get out? There we go. Um, I think that's good for her um, So, um, let me get my strainer out. No, that's one of these. Um, but it's, you know, it's it's really not get my act together. It's, you know, do what I like to call the morning shift because, um, you know, I have been spoiled and blessed with a husband who does a lot on taking the kids to school and everything. And now the roles are kind of shifting. So um, I'm excited about it, actually. And I don't mind, like, getting stuff ready the night before. Like, I got the scrambled eggs ready last night. Tomorrow, I think we're just going to do, like, bagels and a fruit salad. So, that's, like, a good enough breakfast. Um, we don't have to do eggs every single day. Or, you know, French toast or pancakes, something heavy. I think bagels and a fruit salad is perfect. So, I'm going to get busy making this. Okay, so I finished making this lovely fruit salad. Doesn't that look good? I mean, it looks yummy to me. And I'll just put that in the fridge in just one minute. I went ahead and got the bagels out and some butter to soften up. And that will be like breakfast in the morning. And this morning I made um, the scrambled eggs and uh, ham. And I just had that when I got back from taking the kids to school. So this will most likely be my breakfast in the morning as well. All right. So I have um, got everything ready. I started the dishwasher. I also... Got the coffee ready. Let's turn out the lights and I will see you guys tomorrow. It is time for me to get some sleep. Good night, everybody. 
Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. So, this morning it was so hard dragging myself out of the bed at 6.30. It was cold and dark and the bed just felt extra comfortable. But, um, we did it and the boys got up a little bit later than me. I need just a few minutes to get some coffee in me to not feel like a zombie, um, you know, before they wake up. So, I got them up a little bit later. We had the bagels and fruit salad for breakfast and it was you know actually really good it's not your I guess typical warm breakfast but it was I mean the bagels were warm um, I mean it was good and the kids really seemed to like the fruit salad I liked the fruit salad and got them to school and then I came home and I just basically did some work upstairs um, tidying up you know tossing laundry around, making beds, putting stuff away. There's not that much to put away, but I just kind of piddled, and I watched while I kind of piddled around. Well, last night, before I went to bed, I fell asleep to watching the letters about Mother Teresa, and um, it was really good, but I fell asleep before the movie was over, so I just woke up and... Um, um, watched it you know this morning and I also bought The Relevant with Leonardo DiCaprio in it and my husband really wanted that and I know some of you are like how do you get your movies well I don't I mean I I love movies you guys I mean um I love movies more than the news or, or I don't know uh, CNN's up there, but I love it more than just like TV shows, so a lot of times like during the day I can have the TV off, but you know at night I want to fall asleep to a movie, and Scott really wanted the relevant, so he got that, and he can even watch that up at Laura's house on his tablet and such. Um, also, late last night, uh, well no, I guess late, I kind of took my bath like after Dancing with the Stars, um, I watched... Um, Jennifer Ross in a Jen Checks In video and she's you know pretty neat living and um, formally organized like Jen and I think she's like really sweet I think she's got such a sweet little disposition and seems like really sincere and in that video she goes into talking about how hard it is to vlog every day and share and feel safe and you know, um, honest to God, I could totally relate to that because, you know, you guys are amazing. Um, but there's, there's tons of people out there and I say tons, I'm, I'm a little more, um, I don't know. I feel like I'm a little more seasoned with it now than what I was, but I feel like there's so many people out there who are just mean and, I felt sorry for her in that video. Yeah, I totally understood everything she was saying. And, um, you know, I've tried to be more reserved to myself. I think if you would see any of my videos from my old vlogging channel, um, you would see that they're, they're, they have been greatly reduced because of the judgment and the issues and problems and all the stuff that comes with, you know, putting yourself out there. So... You know, my kind of my heart kind of broke for her um, in that video. I don't know. It just it just made me sad. Um, I'm still vlogging a little bit. I'm trying not to touch my hair as much, um, but it definitely is hard. And you know, I don't know what I'll share like when we move and all of that. Like I said, I don't want to share the outside of our home. I'm not going to do a house tour. At least I don't think. I don't want to show exactly the setup of my house, um, and that's for personal reasons. Um, it's not because of like neighbor drama or anything like that. Um, you know, I've never had any issues with my neighbors, so you know this is like one of my first experiences, and I haven't done that well. Um, it's just a disagreement, pretty much. I mean, um, it is what it is, but. Um, you know, I hope to to go forward and see what life brings us. And no matter what video I put up, I hope you guys enjoy it. So today, I think I am going to, I don't know. I have a few things left in this main living area that I can pack. Not a ton, but a few. Um, but I can still wait on that stuff. I think I'm going to go into the kitchen and 
pack a lot of the owl stuff because I have a lot of owl stuff. Um, everything that I pack, I wash off. In the boxes where there's delicate stuff and like my teapots and all of the owl stuff and the breakable stuff, like on the bottom of the box, I will either put like a couple layers of that bubble wrap or I squash up a lot of the packing paper and put it at the bottom and that gives it a cushion. And you know, I've moved a lot. I know how a U-Haul can beat up your stuff. So I do have that in mind. Um, some stuff does get broke sometimes usually in a move no matter what you do so we'll see how we how we go there scott's doing great um he is working again today and um yeah you know i mean it's different him not being here and what i'm only a couple of days in i said i wasn't going to say when he left but whatever you know i'm i don't know um and that's really probably not very safe. It's probably stupid. But, oh well, the cat's all the bag now. Um, but, I'm going to probably work in the kitchen for a while. I might watch The Relevant because the TV is kind of, you know, I can see it from the kitchen. So, I might watch it while I do that. Um, and then in the evening, I probably won't watch TV. I'll make a, a dinner for me and the kids. And, um, homework, showers, hanging out. All that good stuff. So, I'm a little bit sleepy today. I didn't. Now, look, you guys. So, um, I've been doing my hair every day. I did it today. But the difference today is, is my hair with no product. None. Now, I bought, like, an insane amount of stuff. I'll sh try to remember to show you what I bought um, for my hair. And I can get my hair super puff poofy like a big helmet head or I can you know wear it a little more natural I like it a little more natural um, and just always kind of sleek back on this side but um, this is today with no product and so um, I'm happy with it I I like the cut I do want it just a little bit longer just half inch maybe um, but I'm happy with it and yeah, no product, and it still feels soft, and that's really the way I like it to feel. So, anyway, I'm going to get busy in the kitchen. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll check in with you later this afternoon. Bye. So, I have a lot of my kitchen owls out, and I just cleaned them with some Method All Purpose Spray, and they all look really nice. And now I'm going to get these packed up and done. I was supposed to do these like yesterday and never did them. So I'm going to pack these up. And um, I already have a box and bubble wrap and everything already um, to go. So the box is actually on the floor right there. The cats have been playing in it. But I got them all wiped down and I'm going to get them packed up right now. And I think I'm going to find a movie on Amazon and watch it on my laptop right here in the kitchen. And... Um, continue packing after I get done with these little owls. So all the owls fit in a middle sized box and they're wrapped in paper but they're also layered in bubble wrap. So at least that way they will hopefully be protected um, you know all the way. So um, I forgot to write breakable in red on this box so I'm going to do that tape it up and move on to something else so i don't do my hair like with this stuff every day but some of the stuff i recently got was this big sexy blow dry volumizing gel i like that a lot um i got the big sexy root pump and it's a volumizing spray mousse I got the regular Big Attitude um, Big Sexy Mousse. I got the Root Pump Plus from Big Sexy Hair. And this is a humidity resistant volumizing spray mousse. Let's see. I have the Big Sexy Spray and Play Harder Hairspray. This is one of my favorites. It's the Powder Play by Big Sexy. There's tons of volume. Also, they got to be mind-blowing, um, iconic, and power quick shape mousse. Another one is the got to be smooth operator leave-in conditioner. Another hair care product that I love a lot is the 
Kristoff um, Extra Strength Hair Serum 3-in-1. It tames fizz and um, tangles and such. But all the stuff has been working really good on my hair. However, when you use all of the stuff, it's definitely not soft. I know soft hair is like not my friend. Um, and I've been using this little part on my hair dryer for my hair as well. And I've used this brush and I have another um, brush as well. That a round, big brown brush I use. I think it's downstairs. But all this stuff is helping make my hair look nicer. And then over here, of course, I've got my Chi flat iron and my info styler that my mom bought me a long time ago. And it really is nice. So, yeah. I just thought I'd share some of the hair products that really have been working good for me. And, um, yeah, I love them. Hey, everybody. It is Thursday. Happy, happy Thursday to you all. So... Lots of stuff going on. Yesterday for my birthday, I had a wonderful day. It was with the boys in the afternoon. Scott um, was really sweet, and I got some chocolate-covered strawberries. And we are looking for my birthday present, which is a golden doodle puppy. And I'm not getting him until we get moved because it's just too much, you know. But that is basically what my birthday present is, and all the kids are excited. We've been picking out names. Right now, we're with Clive, um, what's the other one, Ollie, the, Georgie, that's another one, Scott likes Georgie a lot, so I don't know, we thought about getting a shepherd, but you know, Cooper's getting older, I don't want like a dominant male shepherd, you know, um, hanging out around the house right now, I'm just, yeah, no. So, we have settled on a golden doodle, and I am, like, in love like a beige one. I am so ready, and we've been looking, and I, I'll tell you more about that later. Um, but I had a really good birthday, and I, I thank you guys very much for all of the birthday wishes on Facebook and Instagram and the emails. You guys are amazing. At least the nice ones are amazing. Um, but... Um, I also had another birthday present yesterday that I'm not going to tell you about for a couple weeks. But in a couple weeks, I'll tell you all about it. Um, I, I don't know. I, I had a, a good day. And um, it was nice. I, like, really had a good day. And then, um, then I went to sleep, and I actually had a dream about my dad. Of all people, my dad. Not the one that's already passed on, my grandfather, but my dad. And, you know, it's probably like with the move, and I don't know, it's it's hard. Um, it's been a while since I've talked to him. <laughs> he's got like, I don't, I mean, I, I do want to be careful, but he's got like, and I've said it before, but like a really, really mean wife. And she's been around, like, forever. I'm not sure why she's even still here. But, um... She's somebody I definitely don't want to be around. But... You know, I don't care who my dad picks to spend his time with. I mean, that's his business. But I don't think that will make it any easier to try to be around him. I don't know. I don't know. The dream was weird. It was just... It was just crazy. And, you know, now that I think of my dad, most of the time I think of of her. And I guess, like, people who are mean to their kids and their family don't think those kids will grow up and actually have a memory of it. And I have memories of her being, like, really mean to me. So, you know, it's a good thing she's nice to my kids. Um, or we'd have some, like, major freaking problems. But I had that dream, and I woke up today, like, a little heavy-hearted. And, you know, I do miss my dad. He was never, like, much of a dad, though, so I don't know, really. I don't know. Oh, I need to shake all that off. Um, but today, Zane needs to go to the eye doctor. He, he got hit in the face with a dodgeball. And, well, he got hit in the face with a ball playing dodgeball, and his glasses got broke. So, we got to go get new glasses for him, and it's going to take a little while to come in. Um, 
thankfully Scott's insurance from the dealership is still like in full force huh thank you and um, I'm going to get him to the eye doctor and then get home and I guess I don't know I packed those owls that was the last thing I packed I guess I will be packing probably the cookbooks I think the cookbooks to come next. I don't know. And my hair is kind of damp because I just got out of the shower and I haven't flat ironed it. I don't even know if I'm going to today. Um, but I definitely love the length in the back. I love that. And I love the side, kind of like I said, slick back. But I definitely like it straight most of the time. But today I'm just like, just kind of going with it. The weather here is beautiful. I'm going to miss South Carolina. I, I am going to miss it here. Like, I don't miss those crazy neighbors. Um, but I I am going to miss South Carolina. It is one of the, my most favorite states that Scott and I have ever lived in. And I love it here. Um, you know, I, I'm usually very honest about how I feel about living in this area or that area. And that's not to insult the people in that area. That's just to tell you, like, my experience. And my experience here in South Carolina has pretty been pretty good. Um, it's one of my it's one of my favorite states. So um, it's beautiful. It looks like it might rain, but I doubt it. Just a little bit overcast. And I'm going to and I got my Fitbit on because I mean I like to see how many steps I'm getting in. Obviously, I'm not getting in enough, but. Um, I like the silent alarm built into it to wake me up in the morning. I like it better than my phone alarm or the, the really loud alarm clock. This is super nice. And it just gives you like a silent vibration on your wrist. And it's enough that it will wake you up. And it does it in a very gentle way. And I love that. Actually, Laura was talking to me, Scott's daughter, our daughter, about, um, about waking up at the end of a sleep cycle and I'm still trying to figure out all of the sleep cycles like if you wake up in the middle of a sleep cycle because we all sleep for 90 minutes according to Laura and I'm I'm sure I researched this years ago but I don't remember but she was like our sleep cycles are 90 minutes and if we wake up in the middle of one we're always going to be tired like all throughout the day but if we wake up at the end of one then we're good so I'm still trying to figure out sleep cycles this does record how much I sleep and all that and that's so so nice um, I love the Fitbit and I have to leave in about 10 minutes so I'm going to wrap this up I just wanted to say hi kind of let you guys know what was going on with me nothing that um, crazy just packing and um scott's doing great and i'm very proud of him and um he's been so sweet like he really does like still check on me and still make sure we're up and that i'm back home like um he's like you know doing really well he's enjoying what he's doing and maybe eventually i'll tell you guys um you know i had a lot of thoughts about coming off youtube about all that even after Jen's video you know I'm sitting there thinking she's right she's right she's right and it does make you want to pull back but I don't know if I'm going to 100% or not we'll have to wait and see um, I've had some new thoughts on it and um, I clearly like it so that's you know different um, it's a hobby that I have I had trouble keeping up because I like doing it um, so I don't know I don't know where we're going to go with the whole video thing, but we'll see. And um, hopefully I'm around. I, I hope I am. Maybe not sharing every intimate detail, but hopefully I'm still around. So I'm going to finish getting cleaned up. Probably run the blow dryer through my hair really quick. Maybe not since it's so nice out. Um, but get ready and go get Zane from school. Go to the eye doctor and then come home. He's not going to go back to school. Jack's going to be um, coming home on the bus by himself. So it's all going to work out great. And um, we're all happy. And I had a great birthday. And um, I appreciate every one of you guys. And by the way, a lot of people wonder how I get movies like sooner than later um amazon releases them a lot quicker amazon instant video they have a lot of new videos so that's how i see movies before they come out on demand on charter and sometimes if it's not now you have to buy the movies for like 12.99 to 14.99 sometimes they're more if you want the hd i don't do hd 
we have smart TVs and stuff. I, well, I don't know if they're all smart TVs, but, but I don't do the HD all the time. Don't really need it. Um, but I, you have to buy them. And if it's a movie that I think I'm not going to want to buy, I will wait like probably two to three weeks longer and it will be on charter or on demand. And then a few weeks after that, it's in the red box and all that kind of stuff. But Amazon Instant Video is where I get them from. I did watch The Relevant. And it's like a two and a half hour movie. I wasn't sure what the movie was about except like stealing more from the Indians, you know, like taking their land, raping their women, killing their horses, stealing from them. And it was like an Indian kind of movie in a way, a Native American. I shouldn't say Indian, I'm sorry. Um, and my mom has Native American in her, but <laughs> she's like, She's, like, so dark, and it it just, like, stopped, I think, with her, like, done. But I watched it, and um, I had to look away at certain parts. I didn't, I didn't really understand the plot until halfway through the movie, and then that was, like, a new plot because something happened. And I thought it was disgusting. I didn't think, it, I mean, sure... The, the scenography and the landscape, beautiful, absolutely. Up in the mountains, snowy kind of, you know, scenery, beautiful, but it was just ridiculously awful. I mean, I really, I love Leonardo, too, and I couldn't stand it. And I watched it because I bought that movie for Scott because I knew he really wanted it. And I thought I'd be able to talk to him about it after he watched it. So, you know, once I bought it, I could, you know, you can watch it as many times as you want. And he can watch it in Indiana, and I can watch it here. But it was just, it was just not my kind of movie. And I love a good cowboy movie. I play them for my grandpa to hear in the background um, who's gone. I love almost every Leonardo movie. I would just watched. Uh, Tom Hardy in Legend and oh my god what a beautiful man he played twins he played him you know he played like dual characters oh my oh my god he was a dream to watch in that movie and then in the relevant I couldn't stand him so um, I just didn't really enjoy the relevant it just was not a movie I enjoyed definitely don't watch it with kids in the room and that's for sure and um, I'm sure the husbands out there will love it it's just yeah, not my thing. But I got to get ready and go. Thank you so much for watching. I'll check in with you guys later when hopefully I get back to packing. Bye. So we made it home from the eye doctor. I'll put in a picture right here. And um, um, I am um, going to get busy on these cookbooks. So they came from up there. And Jackson helped me get them down. He kind of stood down here while I handed him the books. Quite a few of them are dusty. Um, I have some wonderful cookbooks, you guys. I have the Julia Child cookbooks. I have all of my culinary cookbooks from school out in the garage. And a lot of them are like big three ring binders. That's basically like, all, like it's huge. Like we have like like five of them out there. Um, this is one of my favorite ones. I love Nigella. That one's a good one. Which one is this? Oh, this is The Big Game. This was my ex-husband's father's book. Jackson already got one. This Martha Stewart one's really dirty, but I had that one up there as well. And I love this one, Secret from the White House Kitchen. My mom got me that. I love soup. This is another really good one. Here's the London cookbook. I have tons. And I know that I can get rid of these. And I even have my vegetable gardening for dummies in my cookbooks. Um, I love these books. Um, and I'm not getting rid of them. And Brittany and her kids, or Jackson and his wife and their kids, or whoever will hopefully have some of these someday. I don't expect them to have all of them. But, and I know it's not like a, you know, a, a big, big collection, but... There's still books I love. I don't use huge boxes on books. Instead, um, I use medium size and I like really reinforce the bottom with tape. So some of these are quite dusty because they've been up, up there. And I'm just going to take a damp rag 
um, and some general method all-purpose cleaner when I needed and just kind of wipe them off before I put them in the box. I'll probably need at least two boxes, maybe three, to get these done. That's about as full as I'm going to make that box. So, um, I mean, it's pretty heavy as is, but I can, I can scoot it around. Um, and now I'm going to close it up and get a new box. So I was right. It was three boxes total. I already got one box in the dining room. So, yeah. Um, they're heavy too, even just these. So I'm going to tape them up. And I don't know if I'm going to continue packing or if this is it just for today. Um, because I really don't feel like doing much. So, yeah, I think I'm done. So, recently, my good tweezers came up missing. So, I ordered another pair. Get back, silly. I ordered, it's not for you. Um, I ordered another pair, and these are just the standard tweezer men. They are, well, not standard. They are the slanted, and they are super sharp. And then on the back, I have my name. And, um, you know, it's a graving thing they offer um, through Tweezerman. So, hopefully, I don't lose these. And I have them for a very long time. And you can send them back to, like, resharpen. Hi. Here's a cat. There's a dog. That's too funny. All right. All right. You want to go outside? Let's go. Let's go, pupper dog. Go pee. Um, so, yeah, I, I really needed them and super happy with them. So, I just got the black ones. They have them in pink and different colors, but I got the black. And, um, happy I got another pair. So, with Scott out of town, um, for Easter, I wasn't sure what we were going to do. My kids are not going to go look for eggs. Um, they are just, you know, a little bit older. And sometimes we have family come in and we, we you know, cook a big dinner. Sometimes I am just cooking for Scott and, you know, us here at the house. But this year, I'm going to go to the melting pot. So, if you look up the melting pot in your area, or just look up the melting, yeah, in your area, and then click on events right over here, it will take you to, come on now, there we go, it will take you to um, the event. So, what they have going on um, is, you know, quite a different a lot of things, but their featured event right now is their, um, oops, sorry, not the prom package, the Easter brunch, and here's what it is on, you know, Easter from 12 to 5 for their Easter brunch special. It's twenty eight fifty per person. Enjoy cheese fondue salad and our Easter br brunch entree, and their entree is, there we go, um, Filet mignon, all-natural chicken breast, white shrimp, teriyaki marinated salmon, or sirloin, I'm sorry, and wild mushrooms. Um, and you can bring your own, like, Easter candy to dip into um, the chocolate fondue that maybe you order. It's not a part of this, but um, I'm excited. I think our kids will have a great time, and we are going to go there for our Easter brunch dinner whatever you want to call it. We're a little bit later in the afternoon, but I just thought it would be really nice and fun. And I'm kind of combining it when you know, birthday dinner, because it's kind of pricey. It's twenty three fifty. Now, if your kids are 12 or younger, they get to eat free, like one child per one adult. But I just wanted to tell you guys that in case you're wanting something kind of different to do on Easter. So, um, I think it will be fun, and Zane's never been, and I love it. So, that's something we're going to be doing. Hey, everybody. I'm going to wrap 
this vlog up here. I know it's long enough. Thank you if you've hung in there and watched it all with me. I know I normally don't put a vlog up on Fridays, but I wanted you to know about the melting pot in case you want to do something not so traditional. Maybe if you're, you know, not able to gather with family and friends or just want something kind of different, I wanted to let you know that. And you definitely need to make reservations like now like um you know immediately because it does fill up really quick um i know i usually don't put a vlog up on friday but we're doing it anyway and um i'll keep vlogging i'm gonna probably do my best to get back in front of the camera more i really think i am i don't know i feel i feel good about things right now i feel happy so um i've just been busy i haven't put you know a lot of time into um, videoing or editing or anything else and um, I'm hoping to get better at that but everything is going good Scott is doing great thank you guys for all of your comments in advance I'll do my best to start answering some I just kind of got busy with stuff around the house I hope you understand but I read every single one of them and I I think you guys are amazing I've said it for a long time and I mean it so Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. You might not be able to see the count, but I can, and it means a lot. And I might switch that around eventually. Um, and I am going to get some rest, get up early, and be happy it's Friday. So, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Good night.